The recent judgment of the Court of Appeal that purported the sack of the elected governor of Kanu State by name H.E. Abba K. Yusuf has become unimaginably scandalous, having come at the behest of many incurable inconsistencies that some persons may arguably pin to a predetermined end to remove the governor at all costs, even at the expenses of the will and the aspirations of an overwhelming majority of Kanu states who voted him in 2019 and again in 2023. It is shocking that despite the recent judgment of the Supreme Court, when the membership of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi Gisio, in the Labour Party was called to question that the membership of a party was an internal affairs of the party, the Court of Appeal on Friday predate its sack of the governor of Kanu State, H.E. Abba K. Yusuf, on his now being validated, nominated by his party, the New Nigerians People's Party, NMPP, noting that he was not a member of the party. When has our hallowed temple of justice started reprobating and probating? It has become an issue. And these questions beg for an answer in the lips of every Nigerian regarding the political development in Kanu State and Nigeria at large. The greatest of all the scandals that trade the ruling in the Kanu State govern appeal was the conflicting conclusions that was contained in the 72-page judgment of the Court of Appeal panel that sat over the case. While we have already written a letter to the Nigeria Judicial Commission, NJC, to investigate this, the, the circumstances surrounding the conflicting conclusions, we wish also to use this platform to express our displeasure and our utmost despair as lawyers on the new law activities. Such actions has dragged the bench to the lowest conclusion. As young lawyers, we look to the future. Our struggle is for the older folks to bequeath to us a legal profession that still commands respect and the trust of the Nigerian citizens. Minding you, the popular legal palace and the belief that the judiciary is always the hope of the common man. And the reference of the word, a judiciary that dispenses justice without fear nor favor. It is on the above basis that we have risen to raise this alarm that if the profession continues on this path, it will, soon lead, it will soon lose its essence and the trust of every common man and Nigerians at large. The future will be blink, and the world might soon pick stones against all of us. Finally, it is our hope and prayers that the apex court, which is the highest court in the land, comes to the rescue of the legal profession in Nigeria by thoroughly dealing with all the appeals arising from the 2023 electoral contest, particularly that of Kanu, Zamfara, Nasrawa, and Plateau State, so that justice will not only be seen to have been done, but manifestly done. We thank you all, and God bless you.